here we are. Good morning. This is actually four days after the crash. I thought yesterday was, but this is, and I am on the way to the hospital quarter after six in the morning. I'm gonna walk there and that's one of the perks of living right downtown. There are lots of downsides, but this is one of the upsides. I have taken my sling off. So I was getting a little bit of a rash, which is pretty gross. I'm not having a skin breathe in the sling. And uh, I have my arm just stuck down beside my sleeve. Some stuff in my backpack, just in case, including earplugs. So if I wanna have a nap, that could help. And I'm not even scared. I'm just looking forward to getting the show on the road. Check out how fast the sun is rising. I haven't even been walking for very long, but I'm almost there. I'm going to Montreal's SHUM Hospital. SHUM is actually an acronym. C-H-U-M. Centre Hôpitalier de l'Université de Montréal. This place is pretty much brand new. While it was being constructed, it was kind of a pain in the neck to navigate around it in the neighborhood, but, well, I'm pretty grateful for it now. It's nice. Here we are. I heard that the surgery took an hour and a half, but I honestly felt like it happened in a flash, just like this. I don't know what it looks like in there and I don't want to see, but I should be good. So I've got a plate drilled into the distal third of my collarbone to hold the two pieces together until they heal. The plate is made by a company called Stryker, which I feel pretty good about because I know that Stryker makes some really good stuff, especially for orthopedic surgeries. So the surgery is done and what hurts the most, which is kind of funny, are wounds where they took tegaderm that I had on. So there's something in the sling on my elbow and then on my back shoulder. And they put iodine all over to disinfect before the, the surgery on the collarbone. Now it's stinging. The collarbone, I don't feel anything though. Pretty amazing. So I just think that it's ironic that the skin wounds are what are causing me a little bit of discomfort. It doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. Well, I'm a fan of coffee, not apple juice, but I asked for some of this because after about 14 or 15 hours of not eating, I'm starting to get a little bit hypoglycemic, and this is going to help me feel not dizzy. Look, the apple juice did its trick because I was able to get up, get dressed without even being dizzy or passing out, and now I'm in a wheelchair on my way home. Today I learned that if you do not have somebody committed to pick you up after surgery, you cannot go under general anesthesia. And had I not had some wonderful people come together for me to arrange someone to pick me up, then I wouldn't have been able to get this ball rolling and get my collarbone fixed today. Thank you guys so much. I made it back home. I'm in bed with a lot of pillows and I'm not leaving.